What's going on guys, Tyler back with another video and we are gonna be going through a PSA mail day 77 card value special, $14.99 per card. Got a couple boxes I still need to cut into so we can go ahead and cut into those. Uh, wanna go ahead and jump into this. I'm gonna have roughly five orders coming in in the next week so this is probably the worst one out of all of them. I wanna go ahead and get it out of the way. Okay, all the boxes cut. Now we're just gonna go ahead and jump into it. So we'll show some financials here at the end. It's just rough projections. This is kind of a low R, this is actually a very low ROI order. Um, I haven't gone through and updated my spreadsheets though just to calculate prices or anything. So um, just keep that in mind. But I want to jump into these first up brought Purdy my house. These cards are in no particular order. Very low gem rate on this, 36%. There was some thickies that were submitted in here. And uh, a lot of those did not perform well whatsoever. Also, my first stab at grading some of the new CJ Stroud rookies here. Um, I've divided some of these up among a lot of different orders. The grader that got a hold of these did not like them. And some of the other orders that have popped that I've seen, grades are much, much better but this order, not so great. This, this is honestly one of the better cards in the order, which is kind of sad. Brought pretty green prism. Do have a Shoei Otani Bowman Sterling continuity program. Shohei! Man, everybody's all about some Shohei right now. Patrick Mahomes. This is a case hit. SSP card does not get much love at all. I think I bought this for $40 pre-Super Bowl. Um, PSA 10, 169, 170. So it does pretty well. Of course, if you can get any type of red Mahomes, uh, that's a, a card that's going to do pretty well. Team color match. So this one's a certified number to 99, PSA 10. Crystal purple LeBron James from Crown Royal, number 25, PSA 9. Zakang. Lakang. I think this is supposed to be a play on one of the little Marvel things, like some animals. I don't know. That's, that's just kind of what Poopini's doing nowadays, tapping into that. I think this set didn't really gain a whole lot of traction. It's green, number 25, PSA 9. Got a gold refractor, Jackson Holiday. I've graded one of these previously. Got a PSA 10. This one's PSA 9, number to 50 from Mega Box. And we've also got Jackson Holiday Bowman Sterling. This is a Sterling parallel, number 150. You can see a vertical line going through it. So, kind of knew that was going to be 9. Lazaro Montez, PSA 10 autograph. He cracked a top 100 prospect list for one of those publications. This is like my lone CJ PSA 10 from Donner. So sending in five. This is the only one that came back a PSA 10. I split up roughly 25 between two orders. Uh, this order got creamed. The other one graded out just like, as I expected. Maybe roughly like a 60% gem rate on the other one. So do not like sending in big, big two, three, four hundred card orders. Uh, it's a recipe for disaster. PSA 8 Pink Ice. Now we've got some shits. Another shit. This is a Red Ice PSA 10. There are some pretty nice cards in here, though. So Nikola Jokic, gold autograph from MVP, or from Contenders, it's MVP insert. This one is five, six of ten. CJ, gold zone uh, from score. This is the potential insert, gold parallel, gold zone parallel, three of 50, PSA 9. This is a regular gold parallel. It has come back a PSA 9. Gold border. Got a score. Um, do you want to score all the time? I sure do. Just a regular score, PSA 10. A lot of the lower tier cards are graded out really nicely, unfortunately. <laughs> so the better cards did not grade out that nice. Uh, My House Brock Purdy, PSA 10. Or, you know, in the case of Brock Purdy, they've kind of gone down in value. Another gold. This one came back a PSA 9. Really bucked the trend on the gym rates for some of these. Love this card. This card looks super sweet. I like that they got the Texans logo on the front, even though it's a college uni. This is NFL license. It's not the Chronicles junk or draft junk. So it is an official, you know, rookie type card. So we got the rookie shield on it. Hot rookies, gold zone. This is a, a card numbered 250. So 20 of 50, PSA 9. Man, all the parallels just getting dinged. Score, scoreboard, PSA 9. Those do not pop up that often. Fortunately, fortunately, I did split these orders, as I mentioned. There, a lot of these cards are also going to show up in other orders, and their grades are much better. Uh, gold Dots, 22 of 210, PSA 9. Leaf Draft, PSA 9, from old Patty Cake. Uh, Corbin Carroll, X-Fractor. This one is 
maybe a little off-center, um, PSA 9. Michael Penix, Penix, Penis, Penix, oh, 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 Penix, Penix, autograph PSA 9. We'll see how he does in the draft, where he lands. Hopefully he goes to a good team because he's probably going to be the fourth or fifth quarterback taken, so it probably means he's going to go land on a, a good team. Maybe you can sit behind somebody, learn, and then take over a good squad. Scoreboard, another one, PSA 9. Otani, US 285. And that one's got a corner issue, so PSA 9. Whew, whew, that's a rough streak, finally. Let's buck the trend here, guys. Eight, or US 1, Shohei Otani, PSA 10. Then I got a Legends in the Making Blue, PSA 10. And we do have some another two good cards uh, here coming up. So this first one, Paul Skeens. This is a Bowman Sky Blue Parallel, number to 499, 22 of 499 actually. Um, the Chrome version, the Sky Blue, has sold for 349, and then another one I believe maybe sold for 150. This one I think is a much di more difficult card to grade. It's not chrome, but it's a much more condition sensitive card. Now, 122 of 499 PSA 10. So I think that one's going to actually surprisingly do pretty well. This is one of the better cards in the order here. So fine. I'm very thankful that this card graded out as gem as this helps save some of the other bad grades. But Onyx Vintage CJ Stroud Autograph Blue Parallel, or at least Blue Ink. PSA 10. Really, really needed that. That was something to save a bad stretch of cards. All right. Next card. Let's move these so that we can not be super surprised with what's coming up. We can be a little bit surprised. How about that? All right. Shohei Otani Dominator Blue Parallel number 249. This is PSA 8. This one is a likely going to be cracked out unless I take a look at it and just find something that's completely egregious. I think that one might get cracked. PSA 10, Aaron Judge, Archives, Rookie Star. This is a nice one. Corbin Carroll, Topps Pristine, Blue Refractor Autograph, number 75. Hopefully some of my D-back fans out here in Arizona will appreciate that at the next show that I go to. Might be able to move that one in person. Uh, Legends in the Making Black Parallel. So P this one's a Legends in the Making Black, PSA 10. It's over $200 PSA 10. Here's a 9. The 9 is roughly about a $60, $70, $80 card. And then we got a Revolution. So Shohei Otani Revolution, PSA 9. And we've also got a Father's Day Pitching Parallel, number 399. Or just regular, non-parallel, just base, number 399, but PSA 9. Next up, Zion. And I'm wondering, I think that that looks like that little issue on the surface. Either could wipe off or could not wipe off. I don't know. But PSA 8. Brock Purdy. This is a phenomenon, PSA 9. He is a phenomenon. You would agree with that. I think he proved a lot this year in the Super Bowl. Granted, I'm a Chiefs fan. I think that he still uh, played very, very well. Answered a lot of questions. I don't know why people really doubt him. I think that that's just a media narrative, in my opinion. Uh, this is probably the best Brock Purdy card in the order. This is a Chronicles Dinagon Rookie Red, and it is number 299. So red parallel, team color match, number 299. Great card. Um, that one's probably still in the... I don't know, three, four hundred range. All right, the next batch. Still got some Brock Purdy's. So select numbers, PSA nine. I'll tell you, man, there's a lot of nines. German grader, German grader. Prism, PSA ten. Down to about one fifty now. CJ Stroud Green. I kind of made a mistake on these. This is totally my fault. Whenever I got these, I was really more paying attention to the back of the cards and the corners and edges, which is pretty condition sensitive. I didn't even pay attention to the front, top to bottom centering. So a lot of these are going to be off in retrospect. I kind of realized that after the pictures loaded up. This isn't especially true. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking whenever I bought some of these. Um, just was not paying attention. I was just totally zoned in looking at the uh, just corners and edges and just completely whiffed on centering. Um, that is 100% on me. So 
Uh, these all kind of, this one does have a, a, as I say that, bad corner. You know, that one did have a bad corner. So those are all graded 100% accurately. No complaints whatsoever. X-Fractor, Corbin McCarroll, maybe a little bit off-centered. This is Travis Kelsey, 2017 Panini Donruss Optic. I like this because it's Mahomes rookie year, that same optic year. And I've graded a bunch of the Mahomes, but not so much Kelsey. Uh, Kelsey's starting to get to the point where you could probably start grading some of the stuff like this. And, you know, there's a collector base out there for him. Really cool card here. Matt Olson, definitive collection, autograph, green jumbo patch, number 25. That one's a really sweet card. I know it's not him in the Braves uniform. Of course, his Braves stuff carries a little bit more of a premium. Those Braves collectors, they're you know, collectors for a reason. Um, really wish that that one was better. This is probably my favorite card in the order. Super, super pumped to get this. I don't even care about the grade. I, I'm, I'm very happy that it actually graded what it graded. Uh, 2021 Panini Zenith Mahomes Kelsey Hill, uh, Tyreek Hill that is, triple jersey, yes it's fake jerseys, uh, number to 149, if these were real jerseys, this this was just, man, talk about going from 6 to 12, dude. Uh, we would be on the top of Patty Peaks, baby. We, this is the top of Patty Peaks, you can see Mahomes at the top of the summit of Patty Peaks. Uh, Tyreek Hill really should be at the bottom because now he's a dolphin. He's out there swimming in the ocean. There's no mountains near him whatsoever. It's all valleys uh, into perpetuity and maybe some nice IG Puting out there in uh, Miami, but no championship rings in his future. But we all can grow fond of the memories that we had in Kansas City together and them just lighting up scoreboards. So this is the, the good trio or the best trio of the best dynasty in football in the modern era. And it would be really cool if they replaced Tyreek maybe with Chris Jones. The next time they decide making one of these cards, actually, you know, to be quite frank, make it with Chris Jones, but let's get some actual game use memorabilia swatches in here, Papini. I mean, I know I call you Papini for a reason. It's because your stuff sucks for the most part. But I would really appreciate if there's actual game use memorabilia, uh, including this. Next time we do something, let's get some actual Patrick Mahomes game use patches. Let's get some Josh Allen. Game use swatches, patches, jerseys. Get some jo uh, Joe Burrow game use memorabilia, game use patch. But it's all fake. So it's kind of cool, but it's not really cool. Not cool. Totally lame. Uh, we'll wait for the actual real game use stuff to come out before we get super excited and get our panties in a wad. But for now, I'm not really getting a, a hobby boner, so to speak. Um, again, got to have the real stuff. I'm a fan of real. I'm not a fan of fake. I'm not a fan of, of artificial. I'm not a fan of augmented. I'm just a fan of the natural. Natty's where it's at, baby. 2022 Bowman Chrome Draft Jackson Holiday Chrome Sky Blue Refractor PSA 10. This is another good card in the order. Probably 400 plus car, dollar card. Very surprised to actually find this out in the wild. Um, in 2023, it seemed like a lot of this stuff was graded up and condition sensitive in terms of centering for sure. This was a throw in card for that order, so you know, hadn't got a graded, came back PSA 10. Pretty cheap. Pink Ice Shet Holmgren. Shit, 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 shit. Next, we got the Kang. That Kang has made an appearance in today's video alongside Anthony Davis. This is a Panini Optic Illusions card number 85, PSA 10. Who knows what it's worth? The Kang stuff has crashed. It's not as popular anymore, unfortunately. Bowman Chrome Draft, Sky Blue Refractor, Paul Skeens. I just talked about the base card. This is the regular card. I'm kind of really surprised that one did come back a nine. Corbin Carroll, again, Hopefully, I can move this locally at our next upcoming show. There's going to be a lot of Corbin Carroll people. People want some cheapies. Also have another CJ Stroud autograph, 2023 Leaf Web Exclusives Welcome to Houston autograph. Um, really nice autograph. It looks, for the most part, like it's staying on the sticker, which is good. Uh, number to 37, PSA 9. Next, Bo Jackson, Topps Pristine autograph around the diamond. This is an actual game used memorabilia swatch. Because uh, in baseball, they kind of know what's going on. Granted, they had 162 games that they play, so it's kind of easier just to accumulate memorabilia that's been worn in a game. I get that, but um, it's much better when stuff's actually game-used, or at least they create the 
um, appearance that it's a game used. They could be lying to us all, which more than likely they probably are, just to save money. Corbin Carroll, PSA 8 game jersey, just like the last one was PSA 9, was PSA 8. Oh, we still got some good cards to go through. Nikola Jokic, orange pulsar autograph, numbered 230. This is number 12 of 30. PSA 10, nice card. And then we're going to go through some of these CJs. CJs that came back a 9. Man. We'll see. I, I would have thought maybe one or two more PSA 10s out of the five that were sent in, but it was all German greater. 9 And then another 9 on the Paul Skeens. This card has almost a 60-70% gem rate, and I went 1 for 3 in this order. Aqua Lunar Crater. And these are very hard to find centered. Uh, they're usually always off left to right. Number 125, PSA 9. Got a refractor from Wyatt. Big fan of his. I know he's got a lot of hype. I know his stuff's very expensive, but what he has shown so far in the minors is just incredible. He's going to make the MLB roster at some point. Hopefully he does not break camp. I want him to continue to feast in the minors, get a couple months under his belt, just destroy pitching, and you know, go from there. This card I did just sell, sold it for 51 bucks on eBay. You know, it's a five to ten dollar card raw, fifteen dollars get it graded, sell it for 51. So, you know, not a lot of meat on the bone, but hey, we are uh, low, vo high volume, low margin selling in some instances, and then every now and then we'll hit it big. But hey, take your base hits, Louis Guanipa, PSA 9, a little bit of off center, so we kind of expected that. But made up for it a little bit here with an autograph. So autograph green refractor, PSA 10, number to 99. Very clean surface. Happy about that. Lazaro Montes, another one of these. So a blue refractor. This one is number 150 from Megabox. Then we've got another Lazaro Montes Bowman Sterling autograph. This is number to 75. And then the last card, last but not least, we have a Jackson Holiday uh, 2022 Bowman's Best. So it was rookie year, gold refractor, number 250. So really good card. Uh, I don't know the pop on these, but that one should be somewhat collected. All right, so 77 cards. We've gone through all of them. Now let's flip over and take a look at what some of this is going to be in terms of uh, resale value. So as we look at the resale value here, we can see that the cards themselves are amounting to roughly $6,500 in terms of total resale value, $4,600 in cost of goods sold, about $1,200 in grading expense. Right now, again, just using a conservative estimate here, we're looking at about you know a $600 profit, 10% ROI. I think it's going to do better than that. Um, there's some cards in here that I think they're going to do a lot better than that. So I haven't gone through and coded it out exactly what everything is going to um, end up reselling for. I basically just have the formula that I like to use as an estimate, which is basically my cost of goods sold times 1.4. And it just sped out an estimate. So I'll go through here and eventually we'll get this uh, you know, fixed. You know, like the CJ Stroud, it's a $400 card. I have it here for $200. Um, you can see some of the low end Donruss cards. I mean, that's the P those are all PSA nine values. I do have PSA ten, which is a hundred dollar card. Um, Paul Skeens, uh, maybe that's a little bit accurate, but yeah, as we go through here, I, I would imagine I'm probably going to end up getting around fifteen hundred to two grand profit on this order. Uh, and if we did that, so let's say if we jump this up to, um, let's say, boost it by two thousand. That means the ROI on this is going to end up jumping up to 45%. So we'll end up having about a $2,600 profit. So not bad, but even if I only get $1,000 more out of this, uh, we're looking at 28% ROI, profit $1,600. Again, quite a great way to turn money in roughly three months, um, three or four months by the time I sell everything. So that's the profitability on a 77 card order, 28 gems, 44 mints, four near mints, one near mint seven so um hope you guys enjoyed this let me know what you all think and uh, there's gonna be plenty more of these things coming plenty more and they're gonna look a lot better than this all right we'll see you next time